Our guest today is Maynard Ferguson, one of the big names in music and jazz and trumpet blowing. He writes, performs, has a 14-member band, a new album called It's My Time, and he is our guest today in our Orlando studios. Maynard, first of all, tell me about your new band, all 14 members. Well, I tell you what, I don't think I have enough time to tell you everything <laughs> about them. And besides, we'd all be arrested, but uh, oh, no. actually, <laughs> actually, it's a very wonderful band that I have, and I'm very delighted that there are uh, uh, um, two or three uh, members of the band that are from the uh, University of Miami, if we're going to turn back the clock a few years. Oh, and uh, I'm very great. excited about uh, uh, them uh, in their performances on my, uh, on my new album as well. So uh, uh, it's a very exciting band, and of course, we're going to be playing tonight at the... Uh, Community College in um, in Daytona. I'll be leaving uh, Orlando in a couple of hours at lunch. <laughs> right, eight o'clock, as a matter of fact, uh, this evening at the college. You were just in India, and I know when I interviewed you, oh, I guess it was two years or so ago, you had talked about the influences of Eastern music on your own music. We're going to see some of that tonight in your concert? Uh, you'll see a certain influence of it. We don't have any of the Indian players uh, with me that I just finished performing with in, in India, mm -hmm. uh, but the influence is, uh, is obviously, I guess. People have called you Maynard a legend in your own time. As a matter of fact, just recently in Los Angeles, you uh, were proclaimed as a legend, and also they had a Maynard Ferguson Day where they gave you an award, of course, and all that kind of stuff. And you've got some gold albums for uh, Conquistador, one of your, your greats, which has, of course, the song Rocky on it, which everybody is familiar with. But do you ever feel that being called a legend uh, influences you or hurts you in any way as far as your performing and writing is concerned? Does it get me? No, no, there is a kind of connotation I ought to be dead. But, uh, <laughs> other than that, I think it's, it's lovely and it's a great compliment. And uh, uh, I think it's because uh, so much of my audience is very young people, uh, which is what I'm very much into in uh, being the uh, contemporary big band of today. And I enjoy that uh, uh, very much. And uh, if they'd like to call me a legend, I think that's just terrific. <laughs> it makes me feel like John Wayne or, no, whoever. Oh, whoever. <laughs> right. You're starting a three-month tour. This is really the beginning of it. Um, where are you going after here? Well, I tell you what, we hate to leave here because we'd, uh, uh, we'll have done uh, 10 dates in Florida. Many of the universities and colleges will play the University of, uh, um, let's say, uh, University of Florida in Jacksonville will be our last Florida day. And uh, when we look at the weather up north, uh, we're amazed when we hear people complaining about the weather here. <laughs> uh, it's quite lovely here, and uh, we're looking forward to a three-month tour. And then we'll be uh, going into the studio, and most of all, we'll be uh, looking forward to Japan and Europe this summer. A lot of uh, jazz musicians go to Japan and Europe, and in fact, some of them say that they are more appreciated there than they are in the United States. That's no longer true. Uh, mm -hmm. The up-leveling of hips and the awareness musically and artistically of the young American uh, music student and, and student general uh, has uh, come up such a level. I think that my favorite audiences are right here in the United States, and I get to wave that flag I'm a Canadian. Ah, well, that's <laughs> great. That's great. How do you find the people for your band? What do you do as far as auditions are concerned? Well, I tell you what, I hate the normal uh, audition uh, syndrome, which is, uh, okay, kid, you're standing in front of me, you got five minutes, impress me, you know. Yes. Uh, because uh, so often an artistic person is also a highly strong, nervous person. And now that we live in the age of the cassettes, I listen to what they, uh, uh, what they enjoy from themselves. And I say, just play me something uh, that you enjoy, uh, that you think is uh, uh, a uh, representative of your better playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how we start off in the event that uh, nobody in my current band or myself is uh, aware of their uh, uh, playing. But uh, very often we know because we get word from all over the country because of the music educators who are my favorite people in this continent because the one thing that this country has done great, uh, greater than anything else is the up-leveling of music education in the last 15 years. That's good to hear and it is especially good to hear from you, one who would of course know. Thank you very much for your time today. Very nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you again. Maynard <laughs> Ferguson and all 14 members of his band will be performing tonight, as we said, at 8 o'clock at the Daytona Beach Community College and also on Monday in Jacksonville at the University of Florida there, also at 8 o'clock. And if you want more information from the Daytona Beach Community College, call 904-255-8131. Midday, we'll be right back.